Hi, I'm Jeannie. I'm Patty. Welcome to Craft Jeannie. So today we are talking about uh, Father's Day. And you know, finding a gift for men is so difficult. And as you know, Jeannie and I are big on recycling and making gifts instead of buying gifts. So Jeannie's come up with some great ideas of things that you can make for the men in your life. And I think every single one of these is recycling items. So typically when you think about making a gift for guys, you'll go, I will make him a barbecue apron. Well, how many barbecue aprons can he possibly have? And my husband will not wear a barbecue apron. So uh, one of the things I told Jeannie is my husband loves music. So Jeannie came up with some great ideas on the music for the music lover. These are record bookends. So Jeannie, tell me about how you did these. Well, I took two record albums, um, recycled. I cut the end off just about an inch and a half off the bottom of it. Go ahead and turn this around and put a regular bookend on it. Just use some E6000, uh, put it, laid it down until it dried and came up with some great little bookends that any, any music lover would love to have these on their shelf. Yeah, this is great. The other thing for the music lover is actually took a record, a full record, and went ahead and put the works in here, the clockworks in. I'll show the back real quick. Did you, you can buy these? You can buy these at, at Michael's at Hobby Lobby. Any craft store will have them, um, five to ten dollars roughly. And the numbers? And the numbers come with it. It's a whole set. Oh, okay. So it's a clock set. It's a clock set. Awesome. Uh -huh. Okay. Quick and easy. Okay, what do you have next? Okay, now suppose he's not a music lover, but he loves working on cars. He loves his, his tools. Well, we have this little, nice, handy roll-up package. Got a button here. Unroll it. Now, this is tools with a twist. I put plastic on the inside. Got some tools in here, tweezers, a slot. And then I also put a little first aid kit in here yep, as well. Need the band-aids. So everything that you need is here. And when he's ready, roll it back up, button it. I like that. And it can go anywhere. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so he's going to come in from working on the car, working in the shop. He's going to be grubby. Yep. He's going to need to clean up. So what I made here was hand scrub. This is a, a, a sugar hand scrub. It's got olive oil. It's got essential oils of uh, cypress wood. The nice thing with the cypress wood, not only does it feel good on your hands, but it also is an antiseptic. So if you have little cuts and scratches and scrapes, uh, this is going to take care of it. It'll take a little scoop, scrub it on. It has that nice smell of wood, so it's a great one for guys. Okay. Hand scrub. And you're going to show us how to make this in an upcoming video? Yes, there'll be an upcoming okay. video that'll have this and how to make this. Now this is a heating pad. This one's filled with rice. You can also fill it with flaxseed. Um, it's sewn, I've got handles, and the nice thing with having handles on it is not just can you put it on your neck like this, but say you want it to it on your back, you've got a handle, you can hold it. Yeah, place. that's nice. And uh, again, you can put little drops of oil, you heat it up in the microwave and it stays hot for quite some time. So uh, a nice little gift yeah, idea. Yeah, I like that. Gift idea for a guy. Okay, great. So what about these coasters? I really like these. These are so cute. You have someone who's a wine lover, um, save the corks, it's just eight corks. They are glued together with uh, E6000. I put a piece of felt on the back and um, and there you go. Quick, easy, uh, five minute project. Yeah, I so, like that. Those are nice. Time. And then we also have these other coasters. We did do a video on this one previously, but this time we decided to decorate them uh, patriotic. So you may have someone who's very patriotic uh, and a little more manly looking colors. So you can just do the project we showed you before using patriotic fabric. Okay, so I love this little lamp, so you gotta tell me about this. Okay, this, um, if you have someone that likes beer, or in this case, root beer, root beer 66, uh, I filled it with lights, and you could use color lights like I did, battery operated, put a little lampshade. Now the only thing I did with this that I need to change is, uh, because of the battery pack on top, it's got a little tipping thing going. Uh, I would fill the bottom with marbles first, and okay. then put the lights in, but just a fun little, put it in the corner, little lamp. And it's just regular, like, Christmas type lights, regular or is it? Christmas lights and it's run on a battery pack. Oh, okay. So, all right. Yeah. I like that. That's a great idea. So, yeah, so make sure you test it. Put some weights in there and stand it up with the lampshade or with the pack on top and make sure it doesn't tip. And then the pack is just tucked inside the lampshade. Yeah, that's great. Now, another fun little item is this, this one. I love this. I think this is so cool. Little army men around the frame. And this is a picture with my father in it when he was in the army on D-Day. 
Now, when I put this together, the first time I did it, I used hot glue to put them on, and they stayed, and they looked great. Well, the minute I touched one, they popped off. The hot glue was not a good idea. So I took them off and redid them with the E6000, and they're in there pretty solid. So Yeah, so you could really take just about anything. I think, you know, if your frame doesn't match, just spray paint it or paint it. But you could even put anything that that person loves, like Legos. You know, maybe it's little Legos or some other toy or whatever. Just decorate it with some fun little toy and put a picture of them, maybe when they were little, with playing with toys. So I think this is a great, great idea. Fun, fun idea. Yes. Okay, we also have this bag, which I really love. It's camouflage. Now, um, here in California, where I live, you have to bring your bags. It ca they charge you for plastic or paper bags at the store, so you have to bring your own bags. And of course, my husband will not carry the flowery bags that I carry in my trunk. So this would be a great idea. This one's uh, a smaller version, but you can make it bigger. And uh, it's camouflage. So if they have to take their own bags to the store, here's a great way to do that is, is uh, put this. And even if you wanted to give them some other kind of Father's Day gift, put it in this bag and you've got two gifts in one. And it's not an embarrassing bag for them to carry. It is not an embarrassing bag. Okay, so what's next? What are these little purses you got here? Now these are great little things. They look like little purses. We are they not. Do. We are not giving them purses. Let me have you hold this for a second. Okay. What these are is a little station to charge your cell phone. You put your cell phone on, and what do you do? It lays on the floor or it lays on the countertop. What do you do with it? Here, this is just made from a pocket of a blue jean. You put it inside. Tuck your cord inside, and it can just hang there. It's light enough that it's going to hang. It's not going to hurt that. And if this one is too big, maybe they've got a smaller phone. Or you want to see the phone so you, you know that it's there. you want to see it so you know it's there. Uh, another That's one. cute. A quick little bag, a quick little thing. I like it. Nice little charging station. Yes, I like it. Okay, so now you have somebody who maybe has a favorite t-shirt that they love. Jeannie came up with this great idea. It's just a basic pillow, but it's got the t-shirt they love. They don't wear it anymore. It's stained or holy or whatever. So this is a great way to take the one shirt that they have and make it into something they can keep. Now, what if they have lots of t-shirts that they love? Uh, we have another project, and this is a blanket. Now, this one uh, is mine. I had things from, like, my high school cheer shirt and my trip to D.C. and Santa Barbara with my kids, my college shirt. Uh, but I didn't want to get rid of them. Oh, of course, I'm very proud of my Powder Puff football jersey. Um, I didn't want to get rid of any of these, but I didn't wear them, so they were just cluttering up my drawer or my closet, you know. So um, you may have several t-shirts. So if the same thing, man in your life has a lot of t-shirts, maybe they're a runner, they do a lot of marathons or charity events or whatever, you can take the t-shirts and put them into a blanket. And this is one that uh, we will be doing a video on the blanket and, and the pillow. pillow. Mm -hmm. So your assignment is, if this is an idea you think, I really want to do that, uh, even if it's not just for the man in your life, even if it's just for you. Start gathering up your t-shirts. You'll need approximately 30 t-shirts to make the pillow. Put them together so when we show the video, you're all prepared to make your blanket. Now we'll be doing that video very soon, so start gathering your t-shirts now so when we do it, you can go, yes, I got them, I can get started. Okay, one last item and I love this. This is what would you call a favorite shirt a favorite, pillow? A favorite Hawaiian shirt pillow. And, and, and in this case, it's a shirt that just didn't, um, it shrank. It, it was the wrong, it just didn't work anymore. So, but we, I didn't want to get rid of it. It was a great pillow, great, great memories attached to this one. Now, I have seen pillows where they use just the buttons, but I wanted to see the shirt. I wanted to see the collar. I wanted to know that this was a shirt. Okay, so if you love this shirt, you find a shirt you want to make like this, stick around. Jeannie's going to show us how to make it right now. So this is how you make that um, Hawaiian shirt into a pillow. You take a Hawaiian shirt, you see I've got it here, and in this case I want to make the pillow as big as I possibly can. So I'm going to measure across, across the sleeves and it's about 22 inches, which means I can make a 22 inch square. So from here I will come down 22 inches, pin it for a mark, down this side, 22 inches, and we're going to cut across the bottom. There's my straight edge. Okay, we're 
almost ready to start our pillow. Now you can see at the top, of course, we've got a hole here that needs to be filled in. I have cut out a piece of black fabric and it's about seven and a half by seven and a half inches square. You'll have to measure your shirt to uh, make sure of the size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew it right inside the collar, right about at the seam of the collar. Let me just put a pin there to show you where it's going to be sewn. I'll sew it up to the edges. I will flip it over. And tuck it in. Then I will lift the collar and sew it all the way down here on one side, all the way down here on the other side. So that'll seal off the top of it. I'm going to go take it to my sewing machine and I'll be right back. Okay, I've sewn this piece and you can see I sewed it right here. And you can see the seam that I put under each end of the collar. Now, it's important to note when you do this, don't just sew through the whole thing. We're only sewing the collar down on the front. So when I put it in my machine, I opened it up and just sewed the, the front of the shirt. So now we're going to take the shirt, turn it inside out. We're going to go back to the machine and we're going to stitch it all the way around the edge. So let's go stitch it up and we are just about done with our pillow. Okay, we are going to stitch all the way around the edges. It's kind of funny, this is the second project that I've done using a Hawaiian shirt out of a, you know, men's closet. And uh, right now my husband is threatening to put a lock on his closet door, so... <laughs> just FYI. Okay, there we go. The shirt is sewn, we're just about done here. So you can see we've sewn all the way around. And like I said, we left no place to turn because we've got buttons here. So we're going to unbutton the shirt. And go ahead and turn it inside out. Handy to have those buttons right up front. And you can see here's our pillow case. And you will stuff your pillow form right inside through the buttons. Now you can buy a pillow form already made. This one's a 20 by 20 or 21 by 21 pillow. I made this one. I just cut a big square, 21 by 21 inches sewed it all the way around except about this much and then just stuffed it with fiber fill, sewed it closed. So you will take your pillow form, open up the shirt, and just stuff it inside there. You can make it as fluffy as you want or as uh, not fluffy as you want. Then you will button the shirt back up. And there you go, a beautiful pillow made out of your favorite Hawaiian shirt. Okay, so now we've shown you over a dozen ideas that you can make for the men in your life for Father's Day or maybe even birthdays or, or other events. So we're excited for you to start trying these. Now, we're going to have a couple of videos coming up for you of the, um, the blanket and the, uh, the neck wrap and all of those things. So. Stay tuned for those, and if you have any questions in the meantime, of course, leave us comments or questions, and have fun with this.